Okay, so in order to uh, use our information from VSA, uh, you would go into your VSA, your mail merge, and you would uh, download that Excel or CSV file. So I've already gone in and downloaded a file. It's on my desktop. So now I'm going to start a new blank Google Sheet. So I'm going to press here, get my new sheet. I'm going to come to File, whoop, File, and Import. And I'm going to upload it from my computer. And that file is student data right here. Um, this is Excel. I think I'm going to do the CSV. I don't think it matters, but I'm going to do the CSV. I'm going to uh, replace this here and import. So here it comes. Um, you, you know, you can go through here, like I don't think that we would need the the version if you own any kind of mail merge I don't think you'd need your teacher name I'll delete that I'm not going to do anything else I'm gonna leave everything else and it's column E that is uh, where we're gonna focus so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna insert um, five or six or seven columns to the right much like you do on the macros insert a column to the right Insert two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think we'll need ten, but I'll have ten. Okay, so there they are. I'm going to go back to column E. And we are going to split this column. So um, I'm going to come over to column F because that's a blank one. And I am going to type in, let me move this so you can see that it's blank here. Let me go there. I'm going to type in a formula. It knows it's a formula you type equal, and this is a split S. P L I T and it take you to your split and I am looking at column E and number number two doesn't have any information I'm gonna start with three column E three and then let me double check over here cuz I'll get the wrong formula because uh, I've done this a hundred times already. Uh, call, yeah. There we go. So colon and then comma. So I'm going to come back here. We'll do... Whoops, sorry. This is the one we're going to... We're going to do um, a comma. We, we're telling it the column we want to work on. Now we're going to just put a comma to give it the information. The information goes in quotes. So quote, and I want to separate colon and comma, and then end quote, and hit enter. And you can see that it separated um, that out on the wrong line. But let me go up here and see if we'll do okay. I'm just going to do part of them. Lloyd. I'm on the right line. No, I'm not. I'm going to undo. I need to do it here. Sorry. Copy that. Paste it right here. Now drag it down.
and voila, there we are. Um, oh, I don't know why. I don't know why this one didn't do, but you can see right over here, column I and L and O are the columns. So we would just, you know, delete the names or whatever, and um, you would be able to use those. I'll have to look and see why these these two didn't have any of that. Oh, this, oh, they didn't have any parent information there. So we don't have it. That's why that one didn't show up. So now we've split the columns and you can delete the ones you don't want and get ready. I'm pretty excited about this. Let me know what you think.